a dog bone specimen is simulated in tension. A linear elastic material was used where we only define the elastic property, the Young's modulus and the Poisson's ratio. In this video, I will show you how you can simulate this model using Hill 48 anisotropic material model. To define Hill 48 ill criterion, you need to take your uh, material and cut three specimen in zero degree, in 45 degree and in 90 degree orientation. The specimens need not to be dog bone, they can be simply rectangular specimen. And then test these three specimen in a tensile test machine and the force displacement response that you get from the machine convert them into stress and strain curve so these are engineering stress strain so first we will look at the zero degree stress strain curve which is the red curve so there are three examples here so you will pick one of the characteristic example if you do only one test then just take that one and convert that stress strain into true stress and plastic strain so this curve in terms of true stress and plastic strain will be our first input for the hill anisotropic uh, criterion and the next thing you have to do is find where this material starts to yield so for example if we say that uh, all these uh, 0 45 and 90 degree curves starts to yield at about this strain then we have to find out what are the stresses for different orientation. So for uh, zero degree, sigma zero is 10, and for 45, it's 8.5, and for 90, it's 9.5 megapascal. So once you have this information of true stress plastic strain from this curve, and these three stress, uh, yield stress at three different orientation, you are almost ready to define your an hill 48 anisotropic material in abacus. So first we will copy this. And then in my material, which was already only elastic, go to mechanical plasticity, plastic. And here the data that I, I have copied, I will paste them here. So I have this yield stress and plastic strain pasted here. And the hardening we have chosen to be isotropic. To define hill plasticity, we have to go to sub options and then potential. And then it will require six potential values to define the hill 48 yield criterion completely. To get this six potential value, use these three yield stresses and put into the MATLAB script that I have given in the description. And that script will, will right away give you this six value for plastic potentials. So for my case, from the code, I have got this plastic potentials, okay and okay. So I have totally defined this uh, anisotropic Hill 48 material into my model. The, the only other thing that you need to do is to define material orientation. So assign material orientation, select, and you can use pick the default as it is here. If you don't like, you can change. For by default, this is the MD and this is the CD or this is zero degree, this is 90 degree, and this is the third direction you can choose the default material orientation. Now, if I run this similar, this model that was fixed here and pulled here, so this model will go through deformation with Hill 48 uh, plasticity. Let's now run this model again. The job is now completed and here is the result. So if you have chosen to draw three models or three dog bone specimen one in this direction one in this direction and one at 45 degree direction and then plot the force displacement response from each uh, dog bone specimen you will see that this sort of difference would be visible in your force displacement curve check our channel to get this dog bone model and also 
there is a video that explains how you can get the force displacement curve from a dog bone specimen. So check for that in our channel.